All right, hey guys, so uh, I was just about to go to bed and I was looking on Reddit and I saw that the um, DF hack has been released for Dwarf Fortress. So you can see up in the top left hand corner, I went ahead and got myself up out of bed and I went and installed it real quick so I could take a look. Um, and the main reason is because uh, they have Stone Sense working, which is a tool that allows you to see Dwarf Fortress in 3D. So uh, this is what my fort looks like right now. This is River Chambers. Um, I had another video where I was showing how I designed it. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool fortress. Um, we have uh, in the, the, uh, a river that's going through and um, it cut like a real deep canyon into the, uh, into the mountainside. And then there's actually a waterfall falling off. So we're going to take a look at it in uh, 3D and see what this looks like here. So I've got it loaded up already. And so here's the, um, here is the surface. So you can see, you know, we're working with, uh, it's like a, kind of like a small, like a, a valley kind of area. And then the river is, let's see, where's the river at? Okay, so we got some pretty tall trees, and then here's the, here's the river. When we zoom down, you can see. So, and then it goes right up into this, um, as, as it goes up, it's like the river kind of carved into the canyon. Okay, and then here's the here's the top, and then here is the stream that's coming from the the north of the map, and it's coming and it's falling down this waterfall here, and falling into this big open canyon area right here. So, let's take a look at what my what my fortress looks like. So this area here, this is the main entrance. Now what I did is I I built it with some columns. Okay, here we go. Nice. So if I put it if I put it right on the edge of the screen here, I can see a nice view of what it looks like. So I'm still in the process of working it out. I was going to fill this up with water and then have this be the main entrance. So they would come up these um, ramps here and then come up to this bridge. So this bridge goes right across the canyon, right across the river canyon. And then this is the main entrance to my fort. So this is where you can see these are all fortifications, all of these walls here um, with the uh, platforms for the, the dwarves to stand behind. And you can kind of see how some of my 3D architecture, how, how this is what it looks like. It's hard to tell when you're looking at it in 2D. But yeah, so it actually, it looks like it, it, really, um, it really worked out. You know, the, I, th I think that this is a pretty cool entrance to the, to the fort. So let's, um, let's keep going. So once you go in through the main gate, this is like my little entry chamber. And then you come in through here and then this is the, this is the main road. So the waterfall is right here. So you can see how the waterfall is right where the, where the main road is. So this is my tavern where all of our food and drinks are kept and all of our tables. And, uh, so the dwarves have to path through here to get there, which means they have to walk past the waterfall, which means that every time they do, they get a, a little spray of mist, which uh, improves their mood. Over here, um, these uh, columns here, this is my, uh, my temple, uh, or one of my temples. Um, and so the purpose of this one is to be a temple and a burial chamber. So you can see I have these tall, uh, columns. It looks like there's about six Z levels of them. And then in the middle, we have a big gaping hole with all these platforms. And inside of all these platforms, this is where my tombs are. This is where all the, the um, caskets, uh, coffins are located. So let's go to the, to the tavern. Okay, so this is the Tavern, if I can just get it just right. 
Okay. So yeah, pretty cool looking. Again, just got some simple columns going up. It's a couple Z levels tall. And then up towards the top, we do have uh, rooms that can be rented out um, and used for storage. So then we have uh, right by this waterfall, I went ahead and I, I built this bridge. So this bridge goes across the way and it comes over to this side of where of the canyon of where where it is so if we scroll up to the top here you can kind of see so the bridge starts about right here and it just goes across and it goes to right in here okay so let's take a look so inside the bridge you come down this hallway and then this here is the way to the trading depot uh, and so I, I did do a pretty cool little design on the on the trade depot as well let's see what that one looks like so it's not as tall, but it's just a cool little thing with uh, with some pillars and um, you know a little bit of uh, uh, some beams going across. Still pretty cool, I think. So let's keep going. Oops. Okay, so it's kind of hard to tell from this point of view, but this is a uh, my staircase that goes up. So these are all just ramps. And it just goes up to this little chamber up here. So I have bedrooms. They're all laid out across the way of the over the canyons here. So let's keep. Um, okay, so we've got um, still on the same level as the temple and the tavern. Uh, we have bedrooms, and then we have these couple bridges going across. Uh, and then we have this staircase here that goes down and it goes down to my farming level so here's what my farm farm area looks like so i've got this little kind of neat design up here and some columns that are hanging and then i have these embedded little farm plots these were irrigated by the river and then I have uh, some workshops where we can process the products from the farm. And then uh, we up back up the stairway across here and then down is this is our clothing center with our clothing storage. Okay, so going back across this bridge, back over to this side, this is still undeveloped yet, um, but these are the plans that are laid out for our barracks. Uh, so this will be the main training area um, this will end up being the bunks down uh, down in this way and then this is going to be storage and it'll be uh, six Z levels tall so what I did you can see on these bridges these are fully encased bridges uh, with uh, ceilings and with walls on the side and the reason for that is I found out that the enemy can actually climb um, on these stone walls so even when at my front gate even when I retract this gate I was still having enemies get inside my fortress and I, I couldn't figure out why or how and they were just uh, they were slaughtering my dwarves so I uh, enacted operation insulation which was to encase all of my bridges inside of a uh, 3z level tall so you have a wall another wall and then a and then a ceiling for it so I did that for the main bridge and then these two lower bridges here now if we go up the stairs uh, a little bit okay here's another level of uh, rooms um, yeah not much going on there this is where my hospital is going to be um, keep going um, oh yeah here's another operation installation bridge that we've got so this here is the bottom of my temple. Let's see what that one looks like. So that's pretty cool looking. Um, so we have two bridges that come across on this one. Uh, this bridge is going to the temple and eventually we'll go to, um, to these rooms. I don't know exactly what I want these to be yet. I think they're going to be uh, guild halls. Um, we'll see. And then this bridge here goes to, okay, this is the this is the um, top of my dungeon slash hospital. Um, they're both going to be connected to each other. And then, uh, and then we do have bedrooms um, up here on this level here. So let's take a look at the temple. 
Yeah, so that's pretty. That's a pretty cool looking temple, I think. So it actually, the entrance to the temple is is uh, on the uh, on the roof here, on the on the top. You go in through this little door here, and then you actually go down these ramps to get down into the temple. So yeah, that's a pretty. That ended up being a pretty cool design. I'm really happy with how that turned out. This is my first time looking at it in 3D. Um, let's see what else there is. Okay, and then nothing else. This is a. a this was a temporary uh, 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 trade trade depot for a while. So let's go back down the stairs. Um, okay, so now we're going downstairs, and then this. This is. This is. I'm pretty happy with this. This is my uh, crafting. Um, crafting and stoneworks area. So. Um, these six pillars here along all these walls are a whole bunch of workshops uh, you can see the doors right here and then um, inside these pillars I have metal shops and I have smelters um, the three layers below are all storage um, for for rocks and so I like to keep it I like to keep it really clean you can see there's no rocks there but then when we go underneath here's where all of my uh, rocks are being stored so yes, yeah, so we've got workshops in all of these little spots here carved out, and then we have workshops here, and then I have a layer of stairs um, to get up to these workshops here. Uh, and then we have some storage on the side here. Uh, this is for where my finished metal product and where my coal is stored. Um, once, the, once the level gets up, you can actually see I have a, um, a set of ramps that go up here and then across this bridge. And then this is actually where the um, administration offices are. So I have my manager, my mayor, my broker, um, my bookkeeper, all those, captain of the guard, all these people all have offices right here. The next levels of this building are furniture storage. This is just where I keep all of my furniture. So yeah, that ended up being a pretty cool, a pretty cool design. I, this is my first time seeing this one in, in 3D as well but uh, it worked out exactly the way that I envisioned it in my head. So that's, that's all that we have so far for River Chambers. That was just a real quick, a real quick show. Um, you can see I have plans, uh, some blueprints for some other, uh, some other things at the base of the waterfall. We're gonna have a uh, open fishing area and that will have some, uh, some columns and things to it. Um, and then here, this will be my hydropower plant. Uh, so we'll have, we'll open this up and the river will flow through it and we'll actually have some water wheels um, working. So yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a few, a few buildings in the, in the planning, um, barracks, that's that barracks. So yeah, I think, uh, I think, I think this fortress is off to a really good start. It's at 180 dwarves right now. I have my settings set for 300 dwarves. So we'll see, uh, you know, we'll see how my system can handle that. Um, I'm going to take one more, one more look at the gate here. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, this gate is, this gate is pretty epic. Um, if I bring it back just a little bit. Yeah, it, once, once I dig this down, you can see I'm already one layer down. Uh, once I dig this down another layer, what I'll do is I'll open this up and I'll let the river in. And I'm actually going to completely flood all the ground, all the probably two Z levels deep um, with water. And then what I'll do is I'll have a bridge coming from this platform to the edge over here. And then I'll have a bridge coming from this platform to this platform here that goes to the, the ramps that lead up. So I'll have a layer of water defenses here that I can turn off with the lever um, and drown any enemies who might be, might be stuck on there. Um, or what I do is that I let them get up here and then I turn off those levers um, or I, I turn those levers and, and they remain stuck here. And then we'll see what my archer's range is, if they can reach over here or not. If they can't reach, what I might do is in this part of the mountain right here, this is where I might decide that I want to build some more fortifications right on this wall here where we can shoot this way going in. And this might actually be the place where I have the minecart shotgun uh, come in and shoot from there too. All right, I think that's it for now. Uh, yeah, really, uh, really exciting. This is looking, this is looking pretty good. Um, 
Yeah, really, really happy. And DF Hack is so awesome. I'm so happy they released this. All right, good night.